So we finna we finna tap in, bro. I'm finna show y'all what I came up with. And I have a great I have a great exhibit B to support my claim that it doesn't matter how old these people are, they gonna die at that specific day that the devil gonna come collect. And the Jesuits, they gonna make sure it happens in a certain day, or or it's just gonna be some type of supernatural force gonna make sure it happens a certain way. All right, now we didn't gave you this amount of time, this amount of days, this amount of years. This is the contract that you signed. It's time to go. So look, let's tap right in, man. So we can see what's going on. Let me get it. Huh. All right, bet. Come on. Is every celebrity death a blood sacrifice to Satan? Oh man, this is great, man. The bit rates ain't messing up, man. See, that's what it was, bro. It was my VPN. It was slowing down the stream because now I'm sending my video to I'm, I'm sending it through too many different steps you know what i'm saying so by the time y'all get it, it the, the video fucking up but it should be good now nah, i'm not it ain't saying i'm dropping no frames so i should be good i should be good you hear me so let's go so this is what i found man and this is why i posed this question to you right we got ray leota right good fella star and it's the reason why i said blood sacrifice right that blood oath that these folks have to take now ray leota and blood sacrifice equal the same numerology remember ray leota is his stage name his real name is raymond allen leota but we all know him as ray leota right so that stage name and that blood sacrifice equal the same number he died at 67 blood sacrifice equals 67 so this is why I pose this question to you, because it doesn't matter how old these people are when it's their day, when that contract, that last day on that contract is up, they going to go, they going to leave up out of here. And I don't think this is an instance of a fake death. I think he did die of natural causes, but it was, it was, it was supernatural things going on. Yeah, it's, it's time for you to go, sir. That Grim Reaper came knocking at that door. You hear me? You know it's your time now. You can't run from that. You can't run from that. Let me throw this over here. Can't run from that, man. Oh, let me throw. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Let me turn this up boom all right come on let's go right sacrifices once again blood sacrifices they tell you that this is a real thing in the industry right the song by drake young thug and two chain funny young thug just went through two sacrifices right his baby mama and little kid so he knows very well about this blood sacrifice thing right but the song drake the first verse it starts off with him saying this shit january 21 it's the reason why he told you that the song released in march in march march 18th so you telling me it took you february you telling you telling me it almost took you two months to write this song no i don't think so i don't think so i think you telling me the code behind that because if you write it out in numerical form we get 121 just like blood sacrifice once again and even if you listen to the song they saying i made sacrifices but i've been balling ever since what kind see these folks don't never they don't never tell you specifically they always leave it in the air for you they always leave it in the air for you for your own interpretation just let your mind wander i wonder what he's talking about maybe he's talking about sacrificing all his time to put into his effort i mean to put into his work 
They don't tell you what kind of sacrifices. Right? But back to Ray Liotta. He was down with them people. If you're going to step into this realm, you're going to have to intertwine yourself with these people. It's just something you can't get around. Got the Masonic doing the Masonic pose with the thumb on his chin, just like, just like Suge Knight, just like Benjamin Franklin. So that just goes to show you how far back this has been going on. This is nothing new under the sun. This is nothing new. Steve Jobs. I don't know who this nigga is. And old dude, I forgot what show he from. I'm pretty sure he from Friends. I'm pretty sure he from Friends, but you can see him posing on the Freemason magazine. Like, come on, man. What more do we need to see? Yup, that's what Jamal was doing. That's what Rashad Jamal was doing. And he also was doing the finger to the temple, right? The mark of the master Mason. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it was Seinfeld. Okay, Seinfeld. Okay. I knew it was one of them shows. I knew it was one of them shows. Good looking, y'all. It was Seinfeld. But look at this right here. Leota is most known for his role as Henry Hill Jr. Henry Hill Jr. equals 67. Leota died at 67. Their birthdays are six months and seven days apart. Like I said, man. They all have a day and his day came up. His day came up. Symbology will be their downfall. That was a good catch, Topsy. Right. But as we can see, he was down with them people. Right. As we can see now, the day that he died, May 26, 2022, now, if we date, if we take down, if we uh, break down the properties of this date, right, we get 73 as in sacrifice. We get 37, 19 and 17, just like Ray. Just like Ray, 17, 19, 37, just like Ray. It was Ray's day. It was Ray's day. His 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 day came. It was his time to go. And that's just what it is. That's that's how these people play. That's how these people play, man. There's no way around it. If you go if you want to get down with these people, you're gonna play their numbers game too. Right? He died in his sleep in the Dominican Republic where he was filming a movie called Dangerous Waters. What do you know? Dangerous Waters. In plain sight, you was playing that game in Hollywood. You was walking in dangerous waters. You knew this was coming. You knew your time was coming. Now, if we break down May 26, 2022, right? 52622. We get 240 just by, just like the way he died in his sleep equals 240. You can't run from these numbers, man. These numbers is universal. I could speak English. You might not get it. I could speak Spanish. You might not get it. But if I tell you one, what's one plus one, you're going to tell me it's two. It don't matter who I'm talking to. It don't matter who I'm talking to. Oh, yeah. You know, his scenes, you know, his scenes probably already done. You know that. You know that. And he probably gone. He probably died in the movie. Just like they did Aaliyah. Remember they remember they did Aaliyah when she played in Queen of the Dam. She died before the movie was, was released. But then when the movie came out, she died in the movie. That's how they do these folks, man. Now, that one, I don't know. But at the same time, we got people like Bob Saget. Bob Saget predicted his death. He was on an interview and he said, 
uh, who know I'm going to die uh, in my hotel room. And that's exactly how he died in his hotel room. He literally called it like three months before. So I don't know. I don't know if they know the exact date, the exact time. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Bring up the Field of Dreams movie. Dreams, the Field of Dreams died in his sleep. And and I, I got another, I got another uh bomb about that Field of Dreams too. It's gonna come up in a second. Oh, here we go, right here. Ray Liotta, the actor known for his roles in Field of Dreams. Right? The Field of Dreams. That movie came out 33 years ago. 33 years ago. And guess what? The days left in the year when that movie was released, 240, just like the way he died in his sleep, 240. I'm pretty, uh, I mean, it had to be because he was in, I'm pretty sure he did because they said he died in the Dominican Republic. So I'm pretty sure he probably was in a hotel room. So, yep, that's another one that died in a hotel room. Yet another one. Right? But that field of dreams. Field of dreams. <laughs> field of dreams died in his sleep. 33 years after the movie comes out. Right? Also, right? The day he died, May 26. Same numerology as death. In the same cipher, full reduction. His day came up. That's all it is to it. His day came up. Right? Remember Dangerous Waters? This was his last film that he was working on. And bro, and bro already looked, man, he looked terrible. I'm like, I'm, I'm looking at these pictures when he was older. Like, these more recent pictures. I'm like, damn, bro, y'all sure he wasn't sick or something? bro look like a vampire a motherfucking like bro look like his soul gone you feel me bro look man i ain't, I ain't finna do that bro but well, bro 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 wasn't looking good man bro wasn't looking good but right dangerous waters his last film same numerology as raymond allen his real first and middle name What's the odds of that? Okay, now we finna get into the astrology because the astrology is linked to this. Right? And he's a, he's a Sagittarius. Right? Ray Liotta, a Sagittarius, died May 26th in the Gemini season. Right? A Sagittarius died in the Gemini season. I know, I know. Don't, don't. Just listen real quick. Cause I know when you start talking about astrology, here here go here you can hear, hear this nigga go with that astrology bullshit. No, I'm, I'm watch, just just watch. I'm trying to tell you these folks involved this astrology too. Now the detriment for a Sagittarius is Mercury, right? A Sagittarius detriment is Mercury. Now a detriment is damage. Your downfall. Your downfall is Mercury. Right now, he died in the Gemini season. The sign ruler for the Gemini is Mercury. So he was going to die in the Gemini season. It was already written. It was already written that the Sagittarius, that detriment is Mercury, would die by the sign ruler of Mercury in the Gemini season. And this is probably why my relationship, anytime I get into a relationship with a Gemini, it don't work. I was the side nigga the whole time. I ain't even know it. And when I was fucking with a Gemini, I'm a Sagittarius. This is th that bitch was my detriment. <laughs> that bitch was my downfall. <laughs> Didn't even know it. Right? Even Ray Liotta, right? In the Mercury sign, right? The sign ruler of Gemini, Mercury equals 40 as well so was this already predetermined 
Was this already predetermined? Are these real people? What's really going on? Yeah, Gemini's they two faced. You feel me? I know that I know it's some Gemini's in here, but y'all are two faced. Yeah, direct opposites. That's why we ain't work. That's why we ain't work. I was with that bitch for two years. Whole time I was the goddamn, I was the goddamn side nigga. You hear me? But Gemini, right? Gemini equals thirty three. Now I'm not saying I'm not saying y'all Gemini's is Freemasons, but I'm just saying look at the symbolism, look at the numerology, and, and remember the field of dreams, right? The dreams. He died in his sleep, right? 33 years after the movie came out. 33. He died in the Gemini season. Gemini equals 33. Come on, man. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with, uh, I don't fuck with Gemini's. Most, most celebrities are Gemini's though because they can play different roles. They're good liars. That's why a lot of celebrities are Gemini's. Future's a Gemini. Gunner's a Gemini. I think Tupac was a Gemini. I'm pretty sure majority celebrities. Hold on, let's hold on. So on Future's album, I never liked you. He had three Gemini's. They was all born three days apart. And all the Gemini's was on three different songs. Look, three times four equal 12. It's like, nah. <laughs> but that is kind of weird, though. But right? But Gemini equal 33. And this nigga had Gemini. They was all three days apart. Like, come on, bro. Right? Dream World. Titanic. 113 right 113 we know this already gemini 113 that's why these niggas so good at lying they got the number of deception gemini and gunner 113 right meathead future 113 but anyway moving on oh shit damn that shit scared me what the f that bitch is like a damn demon uh-uh okay uh hold on let me go back real quick so i can talk um so we got so we got we we, we just did uh ray liotta right <laughs> that that shit scared the hell out of me <laughs> that uh, Ray Liotta, right? We did Ray Liotta. So now I'm gonna support my claim. Oh yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all smash that like button, man. Y'all smash that like button, man. Y'all smash that like button. That scared you too, bro. Oh god, bro. Betty, man, Betty. I got something to show y'all about Betty too. But look, this I, I'm doing Betty to support my claim. This is this is exhibit, bro. That really scared y'all for real. <laughs> That's funny as hell. But um, what I was finna say, yeah, I'm using Betty to support my claim that it doesn't matter how old these folks are, they're gonna get taken out on a ritualistic day. Right? So this is my exhibit. God damn, Betty. This is my exhibit B, right? So Betty White, she was born January 17th, and she died December 31st, right? New Year's Eve. Right at 99 years old. Right. Betty equals 18. And if you include the day that she died on, you get 18 days. Betty, she was looking good back then. I ain't even gonna hold you. Throwing up the devil horns on the slick. Throwing up the devil horns on the slick. Right? But Betty, 63 just like friday the day she the day she died on right 63 right betty white the day she was born january 17th same numerology right she was a capricorn now betty was a capricorn 
Shout out to the Capricorns. Capricorns some real niggas. I ain't even gonna hold you. I ain't got nothing bad to say about Capricorns, right? But California, where she died, Capricorn, Betty Marion, which was her first and middle name, and New Year's Eve, when she died, the same numerology. The same numerology. So like I said, was this another case? Another case. It don't matter how old these people are. It don't matter if they die at 105. They signed that deal. The day they get taken out, it's going to be a ritualistic day. The numbers going to line up to the T. That's their way of showing you. The numbers is the universal law. It's the universal way of showing you. Yeah, I fuck with Capricorns. I ain't going to hold you. All right. Betty White's cause of death revealed to be natural causes. Betty Marion, her first and middle name, natural causes. And the day she died, New Year's Eve equals all equal 155. Betty White died at 99 years old, right? Friday, the day she died, 99 right she died she was born in illinois illinois equals 99 you know i'm finna go there you know i'm finna go there y'all know see y'all smart as hell y'all smart as hell because y'all know y'all know that was the next slide y'all like man y'all y'all be tapped in bro y'all be tapped in bro y'all be fucking tapped in bro y'all be motherfucking tapped in how did y'all know that was the next slide prince philip dead at 99 y'all know i wasn't gonna forget now prince philip dead at 99 april 9th the 99th day of the year right elizabeth he was elizabeth he was queen elizabeth's husband elizabeth alexandra mary equals 99 but watch this watch this betty white died 99 days after his death and will be for his death anniversary ninety nine days and I be feeling like Betty White and motherfucking Queen Elizabeth the same goddamn person I could be tripping though but I be feeling like this they the same hoe nine why the reason why the why, why why all these nines right why why the nines might you ask the energy of the number nine represents completion but not finality think of it more in a cyclical sense it's about the ending of one cycle and the potential it creates for another the nine in numerology acts as an usher in this process of a transition or transformation right betty betty equals 18 right one plus eight equals nine betty white died 18 days before her birthday one plus eight equals nine once again the number nine <laughs> to my queen elizabeth favors joe biden <laughs> i'm sick as hell right Oh yeah, she finna talk about that. Oh yeah, she oh yeah, trust me, I got that in here too. She finna talk about that. All right. Delicate. Betty White died when, when TMZ posted her dying. They mentioned the last time she was on TMZ was August 21st, 2012. Betty White died nine years after her last TMZ appearance. right then when they was hyping up her 100th birthday before she died two days before she died december 29th they was hyping up her um her birthday and hey betty you know how did you stay alive for so long and she jokingly says avoid anything green and avoid anything green also equals 99 right so it was already um they was already foreshadowing that she actually was not going to make it to her 100th birthday they was already telling you in the numerology
I think this the video. Yep. So Betty White, uh, she's gonna tell you um the real answer behind how she stayed alive so long. People always ask me how I stay so youthful. I tell them I eat well, get plenty of rest, and every third Sunday I drink the blood of a virgin. And these days, they're getting harder and harder to find. <laughs> but that's supposed to be a joke. Y'all heard that, right? Y'all heard that? The blood of a virgin. So baby's blood. Okay, check. Checkmate. And that's what these people do. But see, they have to tell you that. They have to put it in a joking way. Yep. Numerology is not biblical, but the controllers use it to talk to each other and they claim it as how they tell us what they are going to do. Right? The devil uses numerology the same way God uses it. He, he copy, he's a copycat. Does whatever God does. But they gotta tell you that. They gotta tell you the truth in plain sight. Because people are not gonna get it anyway. They're gonna take it as a joke. Right? Now, once again, back to the astrology, right? Now, the Capricorn sign ruler is Saturn. Right? The Capricorn sign ruler is Saturn. And that's pretty funny because it's a lot of Saturn worship that goes on in Hollywood, right? The law enforcement sources tell TMZ Betty passed away at her home just before 9.30, right? 9.3, just like Saturn equals 9.3, Betty White's sign ruler, right? Saturn, AKA Satan. So it's like they put this right in front of us. They put us, they put this right in front of us to understand, right? And then they say with 115 acting credits to her name. So that was the cutoff for her. That was the cutoff number, 115. So you're gonna star in this many plays once it hits that magic number. Okay, now now you're done here. We we finna get rid of you. 115, right? Killing equals 115. Right? So that goes that goes to support my claim that it doesn't matter um, how old these people are. Don't let their age take you away from the fact that they're still getting taken out by the numbers. Whether they die from actual natural causes or not. Because we know just like the, is, there's a physical realm, there's also a spiritual realm, right? That makes sure these things go the way that they go. Yeah, the bitch said out her mouth, man, every third Sunday.